What's up, y'all? I'm out here at the range again on another scorching hot day. Unfortunately, tomorrow's gonna be even hotter, and I've got these plates I wanted to check out, so here we are. So what I've got here to test is a level 3A plate from Tactical X-Men. They contacted me and asked me if I wanted to check these things out. I hadn't done a whole lot of armor testing, y'all know. I've done a couple little things, so I said, sure, send them on my way. Pretty neat stuff here. This is actually the UHMWPE or UHWMPE. I should say it's the ultra high molecular weight polyethylene basically it's very very fancy plastic put together so on the outside here you've got this first layer it's actually a polyurethane polymer blended kind of thing so you got the shell there helps with uh, fragmentation spalling that kind of thing now inside is where the magic really happens um, that's your polyethylene it's basically polyethylene uh, type of blended stuff strands of this high really high fibrous polyethylene lean material that's layered back and forth in different directions to give it its strength super super lightweight stuff this stuff is only 1.1 pound per plate i mean it, it literally weighs nothing it's like a feather now on the back you've also got another layer as you can see this green layer this is actually a d30 material is what it's called it's a non-newtonian type of material or substance if you will um basically like oobleck you know if you if you mash it kind of slow and steady it's soft and it gives maybe feels like about like memory foam but then when you hit it with something hard and abrupt like a real abrupt force it hardens up stiffens up like oobleck i'm sure y'all have seen that so not only will that give you a little bit of extra comfort it also aids in the spalling the fragmentation and actually stopping a lot of those fragments from coming on through if they were to get through the other part now like i said they do rate these as a level 3a nij equivalent so should stop everything up to and including 44 magnum so this 3a is more of a handgun type of plating as y'all know so you're not talking about stopping high power stuff no 556 five, 308 anything like that the size on them are 10 by 12 so it's like a medium size i believe they consider it you can get larger ones i don't know if you can get them from this company but they do make large ones if you're a, a taller type of person me personally it would take a longer one to cover my entire torso but i've got them in this plate carrier here and it covers basically your vital areas so again 10 by 12 the thickness is just barely over a half inch i believe it's point 0.59 the thickness on it um really really lightweight again 1.1 pounds that's a huge benefit of this if this is the protection level that you're needing this is definitely the way to go if it performs because you're you know the alternative is some steel armor or ceramic now ceramic would be in between these but cost a whole lot more than steel and this uh uhmwpe stuff so very very costly ceramic steel on the other hand less costly but much much heavier this single plate here where it weighs 8.9 pounds versus 1.1 now granted this is a three plus plate so this is going to stop 556 five, 308 multiple rounds of it also so it's rated for multiple rounds whereas this it's a it's a kind of a degrading type of thing it's it takes damage as you send rounds into this just like your ceramic so there is a trade-off between this really really lightweight and more affordable type stuff and the really really heavy stuff but i won't bore you with any more of the technical stuff if you want to check some more out about it i'm going to leave their link below and they've got a code right now for 15 percent off that i'll leave also so you can get a set of these for around 150 bucks after that code so again level 3a is supposed to be up to 44 mag so we're going to work our way up we're going to start with the good old glock 17 here the nine mil four and a half inch barrel on that i'm actually going to run these m 1152 uh active duties out of it these fmj some pretty hot stuff so that'll be a good nine mil to run um, i figure next up i'll go ahead and put a 40 through it now obviously it stands to reason if the nine don't make it through the 40s most likely not either i'm just gonna run some 180 grain uh, spear loam and tmj with the 40 then from there we're gonna move it up to a little magnum we got the 357 here the ruger gp 100 four inch now through this i'm just gonna run some of this norma fmj 158 grain stuff and then after that we're gonna see if this stuff really can stop this 44 mag we got the smith and wesson model model 29 six and a half inch 44 magnum i'm gonna run a couple different rounds through this i didn't actually even have any fmj so both of them's gonna be hps or i believe one of them might be a saw point actually they're both jacketed hollow points so i got this federal 240 grain i'm gonna run that through it first and then as long as that stops that i'll actually try some lighter stuff too this 180 grain uh this is actually jacketed hollow point too like i say the pmc bronze and then if it stops all that like it should if it's actually 3a equivalent uh, protection i've 
I've got a couple of kind of outliers here. I've actually got my 44 Magnum Alaskan. So it's 44 mag, but this is a 16 inch barrel. So right much more velocity from this thing. And I've also brought my 10 mil out here, my Glock 20, four and a half inch barrel on this. I don't think, I think I mentioned all those Glocks obviously got roughly four and a half inch barrels. We've got the Glock 20. Uh, if I still have room and everything has been stopped and it's not just completely compromised, because like I said, this is going to be a diminishing type of thing per each round. It's going to start getting more and more damage. And that's one of the, the negatives of something like this and ceramic, like I mentioned before, it does take damage over time and eventually it's not going to do you any good. So uh, all that being said, if it's still intact and we can, I'm going to put a couple of 10 mil rounds through it. I've got my favorite 10 mil round, the Buffalo Bore 180 jacketed hollow point. And then I brought this civil defense out here too. I know a lot of people always talk about the armor penetrating of the civil defense. So brought some of this stuff out there to try. But I spent plenty of time talking about this stuff. Let's get it set up and let's see what it can do. All right, y'all, let's see what this fantastic plastic's all about down there. We're gonna start with the nine and then the 40. So I'll probably do the nine and 40 his here back to back and then we'll go check them and move along as long as nothing crazy happens down there. Um, I've just got a few bottles of water, jugs of water behind it. So I have a kind of a soft and hopefully it don't knock it off the table or anything. And uh, just a couple pieces of duct tape holding it so it don't fall off. So let's see what this stuff does, y'all. All right, that looked like a good clean one right there, kind of on the left side. So, so far so good. I didn't see any kind of water or anything. So let's try this, uh, let's try this 40 now. Again, that nine was 115, those M1152s, and this 40 is the 180 grain um, Spear Lom and TMC, TMJ, whatever. See if I can manage to put this one over to the right of the other one. All right, that should be perfect right there. The nine's on the left and the 40's on the right. Let's go check them out. All right, let's check this out, y'all. So nine right there, 40 right there. I marked them so we don't get mixed up. On the front here, pretty much nothing. Now, it feels like it definitely loosened up this front plate, so it pushed that back, the inner material back some. You can tell, you can see the movement there. So loose front plate, no kind of damage, though, besides the two little holes. And then if we come around and look in the back... As you can see, no pass through. Now we actually got some cracking right here on this D50 stuff, D30 stuff, I believe it was called, but you can't feel anything sharp, anything like a projectile. There is a big old knot right there. I'm sure y'all can see that in the camera. And then the 40 over here on this side, the same story, it, that one didn't crack, but I mean, you talking about a lot of deformation just from the nine and 40 already. Again, though, I can't feel the projectile at all. So it definitely didn't even make it through the inner polyethylene stuff but you can see there quite a bit of deformation from the 9 and 40 so far all right let's keep this train rolling y'all i'm gonna put 357 and 44 mag this time for the 357 again the gp 100 four inch barrel with 158 grain norma let's see what this does All right, that's a pretty good one right there. A little bit close to that nine, but you know, you can't pick where the things are flying at you from. So looks good there. Let me get that 44 mag. All right, 240 grain, 44 mag. This is that federal jacketed hollow point. So if it stops this, then technically it's already done what it claims to do. So let's see what we get here, y'all. Hopefully I don't goof this up. All right, that was a perfect smack right there. It knocked it down and I can already see a big old deformation down there. Let's go check it out. All right, let's check out what we got this time. So as you can see, 357 here, 44 mag, 240 grain here. Again, nothing on the front except just little pinholes where the projectile went through. Definitely got some squishing of the material there because all of this front layer here is just loose and flapping right now. But I will have to say, no kind of damage around the edges, no spalling, no fragmentation, nothing really coming apart yet. Now, this 44 mag put a wallop on this thing, y'all. So 
we'll look here. You can't really see where the 357 mag went anymore. It's about right in there. I can feel the lump from it, but right there is that 44 mag, and you can see that thing dumped some energy, buddy, but it tore that D30 layer, but it did not get through the inner polyethylene, and you can see it definitely laid some energy down here because it actually cracked that jug right there, so I've got it laying on its side to keep the water from leaking out, so a bunch of energy dumped, and you would feel a hurting, but it actually did stop that 240 grain uh, 44 Magnum. All right, y'all, with that 44 mag stoppage right there, it has done what it claimed to do. It stopped everything up through 44 Magnum so far, which is level 3A performance. Um, we're going to try this 180 grain 44 mag now, see what it does. I got a feeling it's probably going to stop this too. Now, I will tell you right now, you know, it stopped all these rounds and it did it through multiple hits too. That should actually be mentioned. But now, I personally wouldn't trust this armor anymore past this point. Right now, it's definitely compromised. So at this point, I'm just messing around, seeing what else this thing will actually stop. Let's see about this 180 here. It turned it on around. Let's go see what happened. All right, y'all, let's check this thing out again. Right there is where we got it. That's the 180-44 mag. It actually went in a perfect spot, probably the least compromised or one of the least compromised spots left. So again, nothing but just one little round entrance hole. And if we take a look at the back of this one, as you can see, a big old bump from that one right there. And again, it split that material on the back. I don't think it came through though, unless maybe it popped out the side right there. We'll take it apart here in a minute. But again, it split that and you will would definitely be hurting from that there's no doubt about it but it did stop it from what i can tell over here on this opposite edge you can tell we're starting to get some separation of the different materials now here but it doesn't look like the round came out right there if it did it popped out right there but we'll look and see once we take it apart you can see it looked like it embedded right there but hopefully it caught it all right y'all another 44 mag stoppage so in my opinion with that right there you can definitively say that this stuff performed as advertised at least um so now what i'm gonna do i don't think there's any sense in me running that other 44 mag because it's very very compromised and the 10 mil buffalo bore 180 i feel like that's gonna stop as long as i hit a place that's not really compromised so i'm gonna put one more round and i feel like everybody would probably rather see that civil defense so i've got this 10 mil 60 grain civil Civil defense this stuff is moving over 2300 out of this glock 20 i've chronoed it before so let's see what we get y'all all right that was a really nice clean hit and shouldn't have been very compromised right there i don't see a whole lot of water spilling out yet but let's go see what we got Well, surprise, surprise, surprise. That stuff stopped that Liberty Civil Defense like it wasn't nothing down there. A lot of people claim, oh, it de defeats armor. Well, I can tell you right now for a fact, it does not defeat level 3A armor for not even close. So since that happened, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna go ahead and run this Alaskan, this 16 inch. Now this is 16 inch and I've got the 180 grain jacketed hollow point in it. So down towards the bottom right, there's a place that's not very compromised. So I'm going to try to send it down there and see what we get. Well, we got a lot of leakage is what we got. Let's go check this out. All right, let's check this out one more time, y'all. Absolute perfect placement down there. None of this was compromised really at all. It was nice and flat and solid still. Again, just one single entrance right there. But then when we come around to the back on this and we got a hot mess here. I mean, this thing, this whole inside has encroached into the jug here, busted it, busted the top open. It busted the top off of this one and threw this one off the table. So much energy dumped down here. So this right here, yeah it's it's actually inside there inside the jug so you can see i mean it blasted that thing i don't think there's any projectile in there though so we may have actually 
still caught the projectile you can see this inside this polyethylene these layers and strands and all i mean it just completely blew it out the back and forced it into the jug now part of that may have been because it was so compromised up at the top but again none of this at the bottom all of this at the bottom was pretty solid but like i mentioned i personally would have called this after the four three four rounds i would not have felt comfortable using this because these are meant to take the damage you know they're the sacrifice official part instead of you taking the damage however in this case here you would still take some serious damage even if we did catch that projectile and we may have gotten it folded up in there because it looks like that may be the end of it so we might have still caught this thing but even still you are going to take some serious damage from that right there so i think from here i'll take it over here and we'll pull it apart and see what we got inside all right y'all let's check this out as you can see this thing took seven rounds before it was actually defeated and it had to be be defeated with something it doesn't even claim to stop out of that 16 inch carbine with the 44 mag so all of our entrance holes there that's the only damage at all on this top layer here this polyurethane polymer blend whatever they call it now all of the layers are pretty much separated at this point so you can see that top layer and then there's all your polyethylene fiber layers there that's what really does most of the stoppage and then of course here's your d30 that sheer thickening type material so let's start peeling these layers off we'll start Start with this d30 here get it off the back so there's that piece the damage that we're looking at we already saw i don't see any kind of fragments or anything in this so it never even made it past the polyethylene inside and so here's the rest now it just pulls right off of course the front layer peels right off of it hopefully i won't lose any any uh projectiles or any fragments there they all are one of them just dumped out right there I'm not sure what that one is. That actually might be that chunk from the 10 mil from that Liberty Civil, Civil Defense because it's got a silver color projectile. I'm almost positive that's what that is. So again, here's that front polyurethane thermoplastic front layer. It's a lot more rubbery feeling than it was when it was first intact. So got that completely intact still. And then here's the business layer right here. As you can see, it's literally just layers of fibrous polyethylene polymer thermoplastic material just really really fancy plastic fibers and layers layered together to make this really hard barrier so if i kind of map this out based on the front layer there this right here should be the 40 cal and there it is it barely went anywhere it might have went through one little layer of fibers of that stuff right there that's that spear lawman that plated projectile you see there so then this right here should be our nine mil and there it is mangled all the pieces as you can see this right here should be the 357 and then this over here was part of that 10 that i already pulled out that y'all saw there this down here is going to be 44 both of these down here and all of that's going to be 44 so let me get this 357 out first all right there's the 357 that was the uh fmj norma here's your 240 grain 44 mag i mean completely flattened out here's your 180 44 mag again flattened on out the 10 mil y'all already saw that's the center section from it the other little shrapnel pieces i'm sure are in there somewhere and then the last one if we caught it would have been that alaskan that hit right there and you can see it went through kind of mashed it down uh, and it's kind of like in a little bundle right here and yes sir we actually caught that projectile you can probably see it down in there i'll pull it out and there it is that's another one of them 180 44 mags out of that alaskan i mean that thing it basically just swaged it this material swaged this thing it was going in there so hot and heavy and i'll tell you this went the furthest for sure it was only maybe a couple of layers of those fibers that stopped it but even still that's incredibly impressive for this to stop a 44 mag out of a 16 inch carbine and then there's what you're left with again just a bunch of layers together of fibrous polyethylene thermoplastic material all right y'all we're gonna call it right there for another hot one out here today really not a whole lot left to say this stuff did the talking for itself with the performance out here today it did exactly what it claimed to do it stopped multiple rounds as a matter of fact which is something i don't believe 3a claims to be capable of doing everything from 9 to 44 mag and even 44 mag out of that 16 inch carbine this stuff stopped
Now, like I mentioned, it was definitely compromised even before that last round. I personally wouldn't have used it that long. And you can see you would have still taken some damage without a doubt, but hopefully it would have been at least enough to keep you on the north side of the dirt. I personally think this stuff did a great job and it's not very expensive now. It's not cheap by any means. I believe it's like 184, 185 bucks for a pair of these. But after you use that 15% off, it's like 150, 160, something like that. So that's not bad at all for a pair of plates that are actually proven to do what they say they do. They do also offer carriers, helmets, several other things. Now this carrier here isn't one of theirs. It's just one from a different company I had at the house to put these things in. But they offer several different carriers, like I say, and some helmets and other stuff. Again, I'll leave a link for them down below and that discount code. That's not an affiliate link, so I don't get anything from y'all getting any of this stuff. But if you are interested, check it out down below. If you enjoyed the video, reach down and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you got your notifications turned on so you don't miss anything when I upload it. If you are doing some shopping, check out those affiliate links in the video description. Anything you buy from any of those links down there, I get a kickback from them towards the channel, so I really do appreciate that. Once again, I appreciate all my Range Gang members and every single one of y'all for supporting the channel like y'all do. I've actually got a really cool new tool I'm getting ready to test out out here, so be on the lookout for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.